Prabhupada's mystic opulences were so obvious from the first that, uh, I mean, what, what story doesn't include Prabhupada's mystic opulences? I like to tell the story about uh, the printing of Krishna book, how that happened. Everyone's heard it, but it's, 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 a, it's more representative of mystic opulence than almost any story I know. Uh, we had courted, we had courted uh, the, the participation of George Harrison in the Krishna movement over a number of years, and key to that was that we never asked him for anything. Always gave him things. And one day Prabhupada called me into his room in London and said, he showed me this manuscript with all these wonderful paintings of Krishna and, and, and uh, he said, this is a book called Krishna Book. I've been working on it for years and they've got it all set now and here are the paintings. And I was looking at them wondering, oh, this is really nice. And he said, I want you to ask George to print this for us. So I said, oh my God, Prabhupada, you know, the reason that George likes us so much is because we've never asked him for anything. I can't just go ask. How much do we need? He said, $20,000. I said, wow, that's a lot of money. I, I don't think I should ask him this, Prabhupada. You ask him. He said, you, you be the good man and you're, blame your spiritual master as the bad man. <laughs> but you ask him. So I had no, no choice. And... It's a, it's a long story, but to make it short, we ha I had a meeting with George uh, that next day, perhaps. And I spent the whole day with him choosing marble for the very place, or maybe it was for the Bhaktivedanta temple, a uh, new temple coming up, I don't remember. No, it was for very place. Yeah. Very expensive Italian marble, and he was going to pay 3,000 pounds for that, which is maybe $6,000 in those days, $7,000. Maybe equivalent to say $70,000 now. So I didn't want to ask him, he was giving all this, and all day long I was thinking, how am I gonna ask him to print this book? And uh, the short story is we wound up that evening, late in the evening, at the sculptor's house who was, who was selecting the marble. He was the sculptor laureate of England. He, he created the new coinage for the, uh, with the Queen's bust on it. And when they went from the metric, uh, from their old system, pound, shilling, pence, to the metric system, he was created the coinage. So we were at his house having dinner. And uh, I didn't, kept putting off asking George for this money. Finally, when dessert had been finished, it was nearly midnight. I had to still drive back 30 or 40 miles to London. I asked him, I said, George, my spiritual master requested that I ask you, I have nothing to do with this, but he's, he's asking you if you will print the, the Krishna book. I had been showing him pictures of the Krishna book and the pictures from the Krishna book. And he got this really belligerent look in his eye, he looked at me, okay, these, these guys are just like all the rest of them. All they want is my money. And just then a, a, a thunderbolt hit the house, a lightning bolt hit that house, and all the lights went out. There was total silence in the room. After 30, 40 seconds, the lights switched back on. I looked over at George's face, and his, he was lit up like this. And he said, well, how much is it then? <laughs> that's, that's mystic opulence. That's mystic opulence. And to top it off, and the reason I know Prabhupada was behind this, because when I drove, finally got back to Berry Place, it was maybe one o'clock in the morning, and his light was still on up there. So I tippy-toed up the stairs, and I went past his room as quiet as I could, and I heard, Shamsundar, <laughs> through the door. <laughs> I opened the door a little bit and peeked in, and he had this huge smile on his face, and he said, I told you that Krishna would help you. <laughs> he knew. He already knew. <laughs>